welcome back to Julian's Garden. It's a beautiful day at the moment. It's 9 o'clock, but it's very sunny already. In the video today, I'm going to show you how to grow hookchua from cuttings. But first, let me talk about uh, what I know about hookchua. So hookchua is very, um, very hardy, very winter hardy. They can turn a very long time in the snow. And some variety can stay uh, down to or can, can grow in zone 3 and zone 4. It's so very hardy. And in uh, hookchua in area, it is semi-evergreen. So if you live in colder zone, your hookchua might likely to lose their leaves in the winter and come back in the spring. Uh, and they like shade actually. It's, um, so most of the um, uh, dark leaves, hookchua, they stay in part shade, but some of the very light Light color, light color of the hokchua, they they be put into mostly in full shade. Uh, but now a lot of hybrid variety, they can tolerate more sun than the other. So just make sure when you buy hokchua to do some research about that. And hokchua, they like, uh, they be put on slightly arctic soil. But for my understanding, and I try several in our area, they can go in quite uh, acidic soil and quite alkaline soil as well. So they're very adaptable. So they, um, uh, when you plant your hookchua, when they are just a little plant like that, make sure you always keep them moist. But the, after a few years, uh, two years, uh, they establish, they can tolerate quite uh, a long time. Uh, not a long time, but a um, few days or a week uh, without watering in the hot period. Um, but it could, they could be happy if you can give it um, consistently moisture. And next is to my gardens, and I'm going to show you how to grow, uh, to take the cutting. Very sunny at the moment. I hope you can see clearly. And over here, I got several types of hookchua. And this one is the one I want to show you how to grow this uh, type of hookchua from cutting. And this has been blooming beautiful since the springtime. Uh, and this bush, it, I got it over two years already, so it's um, quite established for me to take the cutting while the other one, I just planted them last year. Sorry about the sunlight. Let me come a little bit closer. You hope you can see better. Can you see that beautiful color there? And you can see the green color over there too. And here the very lime green color of this hookchua. Beautiful. And here the very dark burgundy leaves color of hookchua. And so basically, we just go down deep into the base of the hookchua all the way down over here. Just a second, let me set up the camera on my phone so you can see better. Because very bright at the moment. All right, I hope you can see better now. So here you can see all the way down at the base here. So when you take your cut, um, the hook to a cutting, make sure you take the your established bush. So this bush I got around two years already. They very established now, and I just go down at the base here and here the stem, and we try to take as much at the stem at the base as possible. Okay, here you can see this my hand there, and I try to take on the cutting at the cutting all the way down at the base, and then. I try to take several cuttings as well because uh, not uh, every cutting they're going to take. Uh, so just make sure you get got several cuttings in one go. Okay? Okay. Let me go all the way down. Here's this thing. One. And make sure you got this crowd, okay? So because this is a crowd that they can root out. Let me take another one. and try to take the cutting in the early morning if possible because at that time with the cutting still have a lot of moisture and then they will have more chance for them to root out. Okay, let me take this one. I think I broke this one accidentally. Okay, let me get another one. Okay, this one better.
Okay, this one much better as well. You can see here down here, even on the top, they got a uh, quiet dark brown crown here. Very good time for it to root down. So the best time to take the cutting also is in the springs and in late autumn. I prefer to do the cutting in the early spring because we could got long season for them to grow and the weather yet is not too hot. And if you take the cutting in autumn, uh, and when they, they start rooting and then after that we can go into winter and then they, the cutting don't have much time for them to root out at all. Let me go to the shady area. All right, so I um, take the cutting here and I got some soil to prepare over here. This is just some premium uh, potting mix, uh, very good drainage. So I prefer to use uh, a lot of premium potting mix and I just put in a little container like this. And here are the cutting. So first we're gonna take most of the exact, uh, exact leaves because we don't want too many big leaves like this. And the cutting will lost so many moisture uh, for to provide the leaf other than for them to root out. So let me just take all the excess leaf off and we just leave only few little ones. And the flowering stalk as well. We don't want flowering stalk either. Okay, so I think I take the big one as well. Just like this. And then I just clear the base here and I simply just place this crown in the soil, okay? I don't want to bury all the way up here. You see, down here is at the base of where the, the leaf come up, but I just bury on, from here down here. I don't want to bury all the way up to the leaf, otherwise the stem get rotten, okay? So I just put at the corner, and again, I have a lot of good luck to put the cutting at the corner or at the side of the container because um, uh, they could have less chance to get rotten just like that and so I got I got four cutting in here I'm gonna put two cutting in each container let me get this leaf up real quick we don't want to leave many many leaves because the plant will lose a lot of moisture or the cutting we want them to root out just like this I think I take another one off maybe I think that's one it goes. Okay, another one. And to firm it down. And if you like to, you can put some little rock. I'll put over the base of the cutting so when it's windy so, and the cutting not falling all, all, over. Just like that. So two cutting dance. And here another two. As I say, I prefer to take the cutting in the spring times. So the cutting have more chance to grow and they even they, they took uh, and they grow until uh, in the winter in our area. They're very hardy, but I normally I won't plant tiny little cutting seasoning, uh, cutting out in the winter. I prefer to wait until the, uh, the next year and the frost um, pass over. And if you live in the colder zone as well, it's better to older over your wood cutting in sheltered area in your greenhouse uh, because they they have a wood there but they're not quite hardy enough to tolerate in in the very uh, cold windy and then very snowy if you live in the colder zone so i just generally firm it down this one maybe is still too much leaf i should take one off as well and this one as well and I prefer to do the cutting in the spring because the weather is not too hot. And I try to do, avoid to take the cutting in the summer because the cutting will stretch out too much to provide a lot of moisture and to, for the cutting to root as well. So here you can see that on the two cutting dance, on the uh, four cuttings. And I'm going to place this cutting in the shade, bright shade area, not in direct sunlight, okay? And make sure you uh, keep your cutting moist as well. So I will show you here the little watering can. I just gently water on the cutting throughout. So the first, 
time and then I water the cutting every second day. But also it also depends on your area, on your climate as well. I, in my area, I normally do watering them every second day. And when, sometimes if you got the rain or humidity and I can see on the top the cutting or the soil not dry out, um, not dry out for me to water them yet, I just use a spray, uh, spraying bottle like it and just um, give them some a lit, uh, few little spit and to keep their leaves and their stem moist. And then I find that they take quite a long time for them to root. And here is the cutting I took in September. So now we are in um, uh, at the end of January. So quite a long time, a uh, few months. And they, uh, it produced so many leaves. It's looking so happy. All right, so let me tip this container over so you can see after about well, four months how much root they uh, it's a star place and I haven't checked it but I, I can see that all oh, they produce so many leaves here and looking so happy and I get that it's quite wood uh, out already and let me just tip it over and let me come a little bit closer and I hope you see better Okay, so on the outer, outer here, you can see much of root. Let me take some of the root off, out the soil off. And you can see there the so there are root here. Can you see the white root all over it? Here, all the white root here. Very, very healthy. Very healthy root. I hope you can see the root better. Maybe I take some of the excess soil off so you can see more root, maybe. Can you see the white wood here? Look at that, looking so happy. So as I say, it took the cutting quite a long time, over well, four months, for it to establish or for it to grow into a fully produce like the little plant like this. So make sure you keep your cutting small, okay, and out of the wind. And um, this one I can plant in the garden trace away if you like to, but I like to tend it um, uh, for the for it to grow more a little bit, maybe a few more months, and I can plant them in the uh, plant it in the garden. But make sure you keep your cutting always moist, okay, out of the wind uh, and out of the sun as well. Don't put in the direct sunlight, okay. Yes. And um, you can check it after a few months if you like. Other, and but you always can see the. The root going down at the bottom of the container, and you know that uh, when the cutting, uh, they it's a fully established. And I got two car cutting in here, and when it they, if they rooting out, and in the future I will divide them. But at the moment I want to set some room, and uh, I just um and take it make easier for me to care all the cutting just two little container than for cutting each for individual container. So. That is for the video today. I hope that you learned something new and I hope you enjoy uh, this video and see you next video. Bye bye.